Yeah, so I actually got the newsletter from Amazon as we are a registered partner. So we, we get the, the updates from Amazon. Jeff Cohen, my friend. Yo, Jeff, what's up? <laughs> nice article was featured on his article on LinkedIn was featured. So let's see what he is talking about. It's a kind of an aftermath of Prime Day. What happened? Why it was so good? And uh, let's just read this article because it looks really, really interesting. So, an official event recap by Jeffrey Cohen. Cheers once again. Who is the Amazon Ads tech evangelist and uh, keynote speaker? He was also speaking at the recent, at the most recent event where I met him the latest time. So. Uh, there is an introduction. Amazon Prime Day 2023 has left many of us in awe oh, with its remarkable success, breaking records and setting new benchmarks. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So according to Amazon, the first day of Prime Day, July 11, was the single largest sales day in the company history. Yes, that's that's really nice. Prime members purchased more than 375 million items worldwide and saved more than 2.5 billion on millions of deals across the Amazon store. Nice, helping him make the biggest Prime Day event ever. Uh, so we're seeing actually how Amazon doesn't stop growing. We, we, we talked many times about this thing, like Amazon, is, is Amazon you know, stopping its growth or not? I think it's definitely not stopping its growth, at least not for now. We saw that actually after COVID, you know, COVID, we had a very big, big growth and then we started, you know, st stabilizing with the sales, but 2023 seems really, really big, actually. While brands spend more on Amazon ads during this event, also a return investment to justify the increase on ad spend. Yeah, I also agree. All of my friends, all the people that I see online talking about their Prime Day campaigns, they all had good returns times five, times 10, times two, even without doing ads, they all had good numbers. Uh, let me see, let me see what, there was something interesting here. Oh, here, one interesting data point shared by Fly, Flywheel Digital shows that EU5 saw a larger increase, 34% versus the US. Yes, so we are seeing actually right now that Prime Day is becoming more and more popular in the European marketplaces. This larger increase is, of course, the increase compared to the to the to the past year, I believe. Let me see. And uh, it's due, of course, to the fact that in Europe, Prime Day hasn't been a big thing because it's an American holiday. It's an American sales day, but it's starting to become larger and larger, bigger and bigger. So. Yeah, I think that one of the main points of this article is showing you how Prime Day is actually becoming a global event. And we can see here the first data. Larger increase in Europe compared to the US. So lead up. Before major events, brands must prepare during the lead up period. Yes, this is also something that we have said in our video as well as in our blog post. I'm gonna link down the blog post again, how to get ready for Prime Day. Uh-huh. Adam Mallet shares some details on how to build your Prime Day pregame with prospecting. Okay, that sounds interesting. Go and check it out. I'm gonna leave the link to this Pulse LinkedIn Pulse article down in the description of the video as well. The power of deals and discounts. Yeah, I we all agree. <laughs> to sell on Amazon, you need to master your deals and discounts game because it's a uh, it's a game of discount. It's a game of good price, good quality. As we always say, good price, good quality, good product, good reviews, good content, and good price, good discounts. That is what takes what it takes right now to sell on Amazon. We also say it in many other different videos. If you got the right product at the right price point, boom, you. <laughs> You made a big business on Amazon. Uh, despite continued inflation, Prime Day 2023 showed that, that customers are still buying things. Yeah, especially when they can get good deals. Yeah. Okay, so deals, deals, deals. Deals and good price seems to be the major drive for users, for customers to buy products, both online and offline. So Prime Day is definitely a good thing to take advantage of as a seller. Brand with deals saw a 238, 3.4 increase in sales over on average. 
yes brand without deals saw an increase of 67 percent nice yeah so even if you don't make any deals you will still see a 67 percent that from a profit point of view guys that might actually be probably a good decision for some of you there if your profit margins are low or if you don't really want to give discounts if you don't have a huge amount of stock available it might also be okay for you just to let Prime Day go and do its things and uh, people are just gonna buy your products if they like. Why not? But definitely if you're looking for, as we said before in the other video, check it out. If you're looking for increasing your customer base, your branding, your exposure, your number of returning customers, you know, abandoned cart. I think I read a very, very interesting comment about abandoned carts later you should definitely take advantage of the deals. I searched for a favorite sunscreen to check the price and Amazon alerted me that there was an upcoming deal. Yes, this is also very nice. As well as ask if, if I would like to be notified when it was live. All of this lead to my next point, that is personalization, yes. So we're, see how, we're seeing how Prime Day is becoming a global event and it's becoming more personalized. And this is not just Prime Day. This is where social shopping, e-commerce online shopping is going right now it's becoming more and more global you can buy products from thailand we have clients from thailand who are selling in the us in japan it's not only from china you don't only source your products from alibaba from china by the way we also made a video about that go check it out but it's it's global everywhere and people are expecting deals and the same kind of calendar with the same kind of holidays pretty much everywhere in the world so now europe is jumping in that's amazing this was a major theme as shoppers were greeted with invite only deals and a highly curated shopping experience that position deals front and center that's amazing it demonstrates how amazon looks to be more customer centric yeah still a huge database of clients of customers but they can allow to be customer centric and personalized that's it that is just amazing so categorize from electronics to home appliances to fashion and beauty products a wide a wide array of categorized tribe during prime day yes we also talked about this before yeah the beauty category yes yes we talked about that personal care beauty that's actually definitely a very nice niche to be in right now it's it's getting super competitive but it's good it's it's thriving it's growing a lot and then i think yeah here clothing we have said about clothing many many times since the beginning of this year even since last year because people now are getting used to buy online they don't they, they knew after COVID, people, we are getting used as customers after COVID that we don't really need to go and look for our clothes in the shops. For example, the business model of, I think the name is Zalando, they, you would order a size and they will send you one smaller size and one larger size together with the size that you order and you can actually choose to send back two of them or maybe just one of them this is just amazing you can you can try them on yourself and then you can send back what you don't like or what doesn't fit you or maybe just keep all of them this is genius shoes and accessorize was up 42 percent computers and tablet yes we said this in our article already where we were predicting we were saying which categories were thriving last year and we of course see a mirroring of this in this year so always electronics top on prime day and very good category health and beauty yes yeah. sporting goods yes toys and hobbies i don't see any home and kitchen here i was i was expecting to see more home and kitchen here but maybe the biggest growth was in these categories okay social media buzz yes we have talked about social media and external traffic a lot from amazon live to instagram tiktok hashtags TikTok made me buy it, seen on Netflix, sold on Amazon, and all of those things. Amazon Prime Day 2023 definitely was a very good hashtag. Yes, mm-hmm. So according to Olya, uh, 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 according to Olya Simakova, within 48 hours, video tagged with Prime Day and Amazon Prime Day, TikTok garnered garnered over 400 million views. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> 
Amazon Live was running events through the second day and popping up in the news play new placements. Yeah, there is a lot of interesting facts here. Some of them we have already covered in our videos and blog posts. Then yeah, there is all the uh, the references, the articles here, and then I saw something interesting here. There was a comment by Stephen Pope. Yeah, this is this is worth mentioning. I was able to hit twenty two thousand two hundred thirty card abandoners on my age of sales account using tailored brand promotions this is really good it's kind of new for me it's still in the beta beta version yeah i highly recommend this for the for post prime day promos since it's in beta hardly anyone is using it be the first <laughs> yeah yeah and jeff is reiterating yeah i agree i touched on tyler brand in the newsletter and i agree oh by the way it's free yeah very good article congrats jeffrey always good good as always so there is a good recap of what prime day was and there is a very good insights on how on where amazon is going towards in this year everything is becoming more uh social everything is becoming more personalized even though we have a lot of customers everything is becoming you know live selling social media hashtags and etc etc which categories should you be looking into or maybe try to look into some different category, you know, to try to find your, your good niche, how to make advertising, how to leverage all the kind of deals and promotion that Amazon gives you. So guys, this was all. Thank you again, Jeff, for making this very, very nice article. And I will see you soon, Jeff, and I will see you soon, guys. Stay tuned and keep in touch. Keep following this channel. If you like this content, if you want to have more quick updates daily, weekly, just Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Don't forget to do all this good stuff. Keep following us. We have a lot of resources and information and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.